Mr. Clock, a story told and sung by Gavin Kennedy. I'm Mr. Clock, 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 I go tick tock, 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 every single second of the day. I'm Mr. Clock, 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 I go tick tock, 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 watch me as I take the time away. I'm Mr. Clock, la 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 la, I go tick 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 tock. I wish the time would stop, I wish that I could flop and have a little rest along the way. It was early morning. Everyone was asleep except for Mr. Clock. Tick tock, tick tock. On and on he went, keeping the time. It's not fair, he moaned. I never get to rest. Mr. Clock looked down from the mantelpiece. He wished he could throw himself off onto the hard wooden floor. At least if he broke something, he'd get time off in the repair shop. As Mr. Clock's small hand edged closer to three, he considered the day ahead. When the sun appeared, Mr. Smith would hobble from his bedroom and tightened Mr. Clock's thin metal coil. It was something Mr. Clock dreaded. Having your insides squeezed into a tight knot wasn't pleasant. Then the curtains would be drawn, and the sun would strike Mr. Clock's face. The harsh light often gave him a headache. Yes, all this was soon to come. He stared into the darkness and sighed. But life wasn't all bad for Mr. Clock. The old metal clock still had something he enjoyed, and that was maths. He would spend hours playing with the numbers on his face. He'd add them, subtract them, divide them, and multiply them. One time, when he was feeling especially clever, he figured out there were 86,400 seconds in a day. That was a lot of tick-tocking. No wonder he felt tired. Things would have stayed much the same for the old metal clock had it not been for Mr. Smith's heart. Like Mr. Clock, it had grown tired of marking the time. One day, it simply stopped. When a neighbour, Mrs. Lambert, found Mr. Smith face down on the kitchen floor, there was little she could do. The doctor was called, but death had already claimed the frail pensioner. That night in the big empty house, Mr. Clock's tick-tocking echoed across the walls. He considered his own mortality. With no one around to wind him up, he wondered how long it would be before his coil lost all its tension, before his hands stopped moving. The next day, he discovered the answer. His big hand had just touched 12 when a wave of tiredness swept over him. Every tick started draining him of precious life. He tried doing some maths, but even simple equations had become too difficult. Seconds felt like hours. He held on for another three minutes and four seconds. Then silence filled the room. A week later, Mrs. Lambert was helping Albert, Mr. Smith's only son, to remove personal items from the house. She picked up the old metal clock. What should we do with this relic from the past? she asked. Throw it in the bin, replied Albert. Like everyone else, Mrs Lambert had a digital device at home. She didn't need a noisy mechanical clock. But something about Mr Clock intrigued her. She turned a steel butterfly knob. I think I'll give it to my daughter. It might help her learn to read the time, she said. When the first tick-tock reverberated, Back through Mr. Clock's metal frame, he could hardly contain his joy. He was alive again. His internal parts were moving. The great silence was over. That night, Mr. Clock found himself in a bright pink bedroom. Mrs. Lambert had polished his frame and moved things off her daughter's dressing table to make way for him. He felt special. He played with the numbers on his face. Twelve times twelve equals 144. He remembered that there were 86,400 seconds in a day. 
What a lot of living there was to do. Tick tock, tick tock, he sang out loud. From now on, Mr. Clock would cherish every single second. I'm Mr. Clock, 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 I can tick tock, tock, tock. Every single second of the day. I'm Mr. Clock, 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 I go tick tock, tock, tock. Watch me as I tick the time.